Hello there, and welcome. I'm Sean. Hi. And today we're going to build a house for a carpenter. A carpenter's house. The house in which a carpenter can be, exist, dwell within, inside the house. Let's go. Okay, so I have a vague plan for this, though nothing concrete in my mind at the moment. So we're just going to go for it and see how we go. So we're going to start by laying out the floor. Um, so we're going to have a central area for his living space. So let's mark that out now. What do we think? We may have to bring this forward a little bit. Okay. Okay, yeah, there's still plenty of space over here. Maybe one more. So we got one, two, three, four. Okay, so we probably want one more on this side. Okay, so uh, the materials we're going to be using in this, obviously, as you can see, palm wood, it's beautiful. It's the sort of material that a carpenter would use. Uh, so that's going to be a big part of this. Uh, I actually started building this build a while ago, uh, and then I showed it to Ben, and Ben was like, bro, uh, why, aren't you, uh, why aren't you using palm wood? It would work so well. And then I looked at palm wood, and I went, yes. Yes, it would. Uh, so now I've started again, and we're going to do it goodly this time. So we've got the main floor area for his living space. I'm tempted to make this just one longer this way. Because you don't want things too square. Yeah, that's better. Uh, and then we've got one. Okay. So this will be his main living space, the central sort of hub of the build. And then we're going to have um, it jutting out this way. And this is going to be his workshop on this side. Uh, over here, we're going to have some log storage. And then um, on the back, I want to do something a little bit interesting using the actual saw blade crafting piece. Uh, but we'll get to that later. I'm not sure if I want the palm wood on this section. I'm tempted to go the refined wood because this is actually technically going to be outside this part. Okay, so one, two, three... Or is four enough? Uh, I may end up making that five, but we'll come to that later. Uh, over here, we want the wood storage, so that's probably going to be the same sort of three, but then only two. Uh, so one thing you want to do when you're building in this game is you don't want to make things too symmetrical, which is really difficult for me. I I'm really into symmetry. I, it's really hard for me not to make everything symmetrical. So this is me practicing not making everything symmetrical. Uh, okay, so we have the wood log storage, we have the main house, and then we have his workshop over here. Um, I think... We'll probably have all four like this going out to about here. Okay, cool. So that's the vague shape of the floor plan done. Um, now I need to work out what the walls are going to be made out of. So how do these walls actually look? Yeah, these are nice. I don't want the... Do I want to go with this? I don't want the textures to be too samey all the way through the build. Um, let's try that. And then... Oh, no. Uh, probably... A too wide door. Okay, lovely. Uh, I don't think I want the log storage to be accessible from inside. I think it's just going to be like an exterior shed, so we can actually block this wall off completely. Um, I think we probably want these two in place with another doorway there. Yeah, okay. I like it. Um, I actually think as well... <clears throat> I'm debating whether to have this area accessible from the inside or not. I'm tempted to say no. Uh, let's just try it. I mean, we can always change things later on if we need to. 
let's just cover all that up for now. Uh, lovely. Uh, so for the workshop area, uh, I'm probably going to use more of this delicious. Uh, that's probably too high. I'll tell you what, we're going to use the one by one blocks here. Um, to just mark out a little sort of railing. Um, yeah. Four, one, two, three, four, yep. Five, five, six, and six. We want to leave a little space open so that you can enter this from the outside of the house as well. Um, I'll probably do the same on this side and then block off this side completely. Oh, no, I'm done there. We don't want those there. We don't want those there. There we go. Lovely. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I am thinking this feels a little bit... Hmm, this feels a little bit small now. Let's just extend this by one more. Uh, and then we will just have to move this along a little bit. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, so now we're just going to use some roof tile blocks um, to just add some little posts going up from here that will eventually connect to the roof itself. Okay, lovely. That's that sorted for now. We're going to leave that alone for a moment. In fact, what we might just do as we're going, just to give a vague idea of how it's going to look... Let's just place a couple of bits of furniture in here. A nice little table down. A little stool there. Maybe a little stool there. And another little table just plonked. Let's just shove it there for now. We can always move them and pick them up if they're in the way. Okay, so now we're just going to get this little log storage sorted because this should be relatively simple. Uh, let's get our lovely little half timbered blocks just build ourselves a little frame for it okay we're going to add these little struts alongside going up to the top just to connect uh, the exterior to the main building just so there's a bit more sort of cohesion in terms of it fading from one section to another and if we just go up to about there with these ones Yeah, that looks good. I think I may just add one more layer. Sweet. So eventually this will obviously be roofed off and stuff, but for now, I think it's looking pretty good. The idea is slowly but surely coming together. Uh, thinking about it, I may just make sure it matches. I think this, is, this might just be a little bit too low, so I'm just going to go ahead and plop these on here and then we're also just going to bring these up like the other side just so it all matches sweet okay starting to come together i like it okay so now we are just going to again match the same sort of style on this rear side And again, just make sure we're matching the same sort of structural style on all sides, just so it all sort of makes sense. Uh, I think we are just going to cut into here and add a, a little couple of windows. Sweet. Uh, I also might, I'm very tempted to add a little porch. Um, probably with the refined wood again.
yeah, that should do for now. Uh, we will also just make this a little bit thicker. Uh, I do think I want a double door, but I do think that was too wide. Yes, okay, sweet. That's much better. Uh, we're going to come back in here and start doing some of the interior of the main building now. So the first thing I like to do is stairs, just so I know sort of vaguely what's going on. Um, you know, stairs will obviously take up a lot of space on one floor in, in the build, so I like to get them out of the way first, make sure I know where they're going to be. Um, how wide are they? Okay. Probably about there. Then we'll have our little... Yep, beautiful. Uh, just make sure that's not coming through on any side. Yep, beautiful. And the same again for here. Uh, let's just do the second floor quickly. Oopsie daisy. What I might actually do is I might just have the second floor come out to here. Uh, or maybe a little bit more. Just so we can have a little sort of balcony-esque thing looking down on the first floor. Uh, maybe one more. Beautiful. Now we've got a decent bit of space up here. We also have this sort of... Nice sort of balcony overlooking thing. In fact, now I'm second guessing myself. I actually think I want... It's come all the way over here. Just make sure we can still get up and down the stairs. Yep, we can. Lovely. And then maybe just a little bit more and just have the balcony instead uh, be approaching or facing the door. I think that makes more sense. Oops. They come in. Yep, you've got a nice little balcony there. Beautiful. And then we'll just keep building these walls up. Now I am tempted. I've seen a lot of people do this in a sort of Tudor style to... Uh... Okay, if it'll let me. Hello. To have these sort of jutting out pieces to widen the build, the walls of the build. It just adds a bit more depth as you go up in level. So I'm going to try that out. Okay, let's check that on the outside. I actually also like the corners not being there. I think that looks really nice. Yeah, I like it. Uh, we will also cut out some windows while we're here. Let's just get that sorted. Um, I'm trying to work out whether... I'm going to leave the windows on this side just because I'm not quite sure how the roof will work in terms of going down onto this section. Uh, but certainly we could have a nice beautiful central window here lovely uh, I'm also thinking I quite like the idea of having some kind of little trim going along the bottom of the wall on the inside now this may be a bit weird with the stairs but we might be okay. Uh, I'll tell you what. We might leave... Let's just see how it looks first. There we go. Yeah, I think that works. Uh, I am tempted to... 
Mm. Ah, okay. The windows look a bit weird here, so I may have to bring the door in one more. Just so we don't have the window right on the edge of the wall there. That's better. Uh, I'm tempted as well. I like this trim, so I might try just having the trim continue up the corner of the wall. All the way to the top. Oh, I like that as well, because then it'll... As it gets up to the top, it'll sort of jut in like that. I like that. Okay, sweet. Now we've got a bit of decoration and stuff on the inside. Um, mostly this just needs furniture now. It obviously needs a roof, but uh, in terms of the interior, it just needs furnishing a little bit. So in terms of the roof, I want it to come to a point uh, here, going along like this, uh, so it'll slope down on either side. Uh, so we're just going to build it up. Okay, so now that we've got the roof done on the main part, we're going to try and get it done on this part. And I have realized that um, this may be a little bit awkward with uh, these pieces here. So we are just going to go ahead and pop those off for now. And we're going to replace them with more timbered wood, um, just so it makes it easier for us doing the, the roof itself. So we're going to have some posts going up to about where we'd want the roof to be probably somewhere around there we want that a bit lower actually because it is gonna sort of come up like that Okay, beautiful. So now our little workshop area has a roof as well as the main building. Uh, I may end up cutting off one sort of layer of this. It looks like it may be overhanging just a little bit too much. Um, but we may be able to remedy this just by having one little post going up to the, to the top of the roof. Okay, so now we're just going to cut out a couple of bits of roof here. Just to make the doorway a bit more prominent. Okay, so now we're basically just going to do the same thing uh, to the other sort of jutting out bits. So we're going to have, have the same posts, have the same sort of roof, um, just to keep it really consistent across the entire build. Okay, so I kind of like that. Uh, at first, it seemed like I wasn't going to be able to make it work. I, th I thought the roof was going to end up coming too far down. But actually, if you just jut it out one, uh, because of the way the game, uh, the building mechanics work, it obviously just blends the pieces together and it actually forms quite an interesting shape. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep that going. Yeah, I like that. I think that's cool. If we just keep that going all the way through. Okay, there we go. 
I like that. That's that's a little bit different. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is put a roof on the sort of log storage section. Uh, in terms of the main structure, then we can start decorating the rest of the build. So uh, I'm tempted to try a different kind of roof here, just because it is effectively a shed. Like every other section is like a main part of the build. Whereas this section is just supposed to be, you know, like a shed effectively. We'll probably start on this side just to make things a bit simpler. Go there. And there. Just fill that in. Again, we'll cut out this little section here just to make the doorway more prominent. And then instead of it going all the way up, I think I'll probably have it flat. Okay, so the shed roof looks a little bit more messy than I'd like, but hey, it's a, it's a shed. It's not meant to look pretty, is it? Okay, so that is the structure basically done. Um, we have the main building there. We have the workshop itself here. Around the back, uh, this will become clear what it is in a moment when we start to decorate. And then we have the storage shed around the side. Um, the roof could do with a bit of work. I feel like the roof needs to be coming out, you know, jutting out a little bit more on the front and back. Um, but we can sort that out. Okay, so in terms of decoration, uh, we are going to start with the space at the back of the build. Because uh, this is going to be the saw room. So I'm being inspired a little bit here by uh, Riverwood in Skyrim. Uh, that's not quite central. Not there. Perfect. Uh, so the idea is that this is the room where the carpenter cuts up all his wood so he might get trees from over here, feed them through here over the saw and out this end. So we're going to add a little bit of decoration to the saw itself, just to spruce it up a little bit. Okay, so beautiful. So I've used these uh, stone shingle roofs just to make a little guard so that no one's cutting their fingers off or anything. We've got a little gap here to operate it. Uh, this is the main thing I like to do when I'm building this game, especially when it comes to decoration, is just try and take the crafting pieces and stuff like that and imagine how would they actually look and how can you um, sort of enhance them using the building pieces. So I've added this sort of trim with the palm wood um, just to keep in the aesthetic of the rest of the build. And then I've added, like I say, these stone shingle roofs just to sort of... The idea would be that you put the log in, and if these sort of slope pieces are there, the log isn't going to go anywhere. It's just going to get fed straight through.
And there we have it. Our carpenter's workshop build is completed with some nice decoration. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you maybe learned a couple of bits and uh, I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.